Yeah, sure. Uh, hi there. Uh, just first off, uh, how are you feeling about the, the game coming up? Yeah, obviously, I'm uh, really looking forward to it. Um, I, I missed the last game against Italy and Tala. Um, so, yeah, I just can't wait to, to get going. Good stuff, yeah. Um, how have you been settling in with, with the new man team? New man? As in Jim? Yeah. Yeah, uh, like a, we uh, it was working on Stephen Kenny, so kind of uh, similar enough, and, and that sort of thing. So not not really too new there. Okay, and uh, just I suppose it's been a while since uh, you've had a competitive game. Um, it's been a strong qualifying campaign so far, obviously, but there's been a lot of I suppose high profile departures. For, um, in terms of uh, players moving up to the senior squad, Adam Ida, Jason Malumbi, people like that. Do you think that will have much of an impact on the three remaining qualifiers? Uh, no, not at all. We had a we had a training camp last one up in Belfast, so we kind of got to uh, know each other and know the new coaching staff and look there's other players in their positions that are uh, that are playing in the Premier League. So I don't think to be too much of a difference. Sure. Okay. Yeah, thanks. That's all I have. Paul Fennessy, I think you just come in there. Don't ask questions for Dara. Your mic's off there. Paul Fennessy, no. John, do you want to ask him? Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, no bother. Dara, how are you doing? Yeah, good. Thanks, Harry. Yeah, just just following up on that question, just about continuity. Um, you know, Jim was Jim has been part of the the Stephen Camp, it, it, or you know, the the backroom team. Is the philosophy much the same in terms of the style? Um, uh, and what way you go about games, irrespective of the quality of opposition? Yeah. Um. Look, I don't think I don't see why we would change the philosophy when, uh, when we're top of the group. Like it'd be working so well, so um, I, I, I think it'd be a bit, um, a bit silly to change it and try new things when there is only three games left. I mean, Jim obviously has his own ideas, which may be different, but all in all, it's it's quite similar. Like, and as you said, you missed that game in Tallinn that night. But... From your work that you've done on them since you came in, I know there's a bit of uncertainty over certain players over there. But what are you expecting from them? Do you think that they'd be different from Tala? No, I don't think they'd be too different. Like uh, it's it's unusual for a, a team to change their philosophy like in a, in a campaign. I think there's only a couple of games left. They're playing Iceland on Friday night, so we'll get a better idea then. Um, but like all Italian teams, they they like to express themselves, you know. And we obviously doing our homework on them. We know their their strengths and weaknesses, so we we're uh, we're gonna be confident enough, like going going over there and putting in the performance. Yeah, and I don't know. It's still the same. But I remember that night in Tallinn. I think Stephen mentioned it afterwards. A lot of their attack and play goes down the left rather than the right. Is that yeah. in some ways a relief for you? Um, no, like their, their left back does like to push on a lot and he's, he's quite attacking, but like it, that doesn't stop the right back from doing it, you know. So you can't just switch off because one side of the pitch was it than the other, like you have to be concentrated, so expect the unexpected. Like, and just bringing it back to you know your club matters, how's the last week been for you? Yeah, <laughs> last few months or last few weeks, last month, it's been a bit whirlwind, like. Two, two new lads come in and no disrespect, like no one no one knew who they were or where they came from and had a little experience. To be fair, like they have <laughs> obviously done unbelievably well. We've qualified for group stages and all the boys have bought into to what they're trying to be doing and um, I think a lot of people are gonna respect them more now. And just your reaction to the draw? Yeah, absolutely delighted, like I don't think we could have we could have uh, we could have asked for a better group. Um, obviously, our so our our massive team, like and no disrespect to the, to the other two teams, but we've got to look at them and um, be confident that we can get some results against them.
Who did you support? Who did you support? Oh, sorry, I support Leeds. Yeah. I support Leeds. You're a Leeds fan? Yeah. Okay. Well, they're back in fashion anyway. Okay. <laughs> All right. Thanks very much. Okay. Is uh, Paul Fantasy you there? I'll try again. Yeah. So, sorry, I had a few issues there. Uh, um, hi, I heard things. Could I just ask what would what would beating Italy and, and I suppose qualifying mean to you? Well, <laughs> I don't think another twenty ones Irish side has, has ever qualified, so it's it's a chance to make some history. Um and going off to a finals like an under twenty one championship finals is like it's just gonna be unbelievable. Yeah. And um like you've obviously I suppose lost some some big players like Aaron Connolly and, and Jason Malumbi. Um, and does that is there a worry that the, the team might be weakened because of that? No, not at all. I, I just, just answer this question. Um, there's boys Sorry. coming in uh, that, are, that are just as, as good and as, as capable. So not at all. No. Sure, sure. And um, just finally. Um, how, how have you found it kind of being in camp and, and working with, with Jim and also is, is there a kind of a, maybe a bit of a, a worry about a virus outbreak recently? Is that kind of a concern? No, just a yeah. sorry question like Jim. It's just a uh, just to start your question, like we, we've worked on a gym um, already because he was under Stephen, so not at all, like just there's nothing really different there, but I didn't really get the last bit of your question there. Um, I, I was just asking about the the kind of worry about coronavirus, like the Italy squad obviously had a couple of positive cases there recently and, and you guys will be travelling, is that a, a worry at all or, or are you, do you feel relatively safe? Yeah, like it's it's gonna be as safe as can be. It's out more control. Look, we're all getting tested and stuff, so we're following the protocols and taking it from there. Okay, thanks. Okay, uh, switch to the daily section. So, uh, on Kowser. Uh, how are you, Dara? Yeah. Uh, just um, just we're facing Italy as uh, Filippo or Giuseppe told you anything before you're going away. <laughs> no, no, they haven't said anything. No. No, like it, like obviously. It's it's a busy time for Dundalk. Like, was there much conversation about you going away? Like, I know they can't stop you, but I don't know. Do they even just say don't get injured or anything like that? Like, not at all. It's, as I said, it is a hectic schedule. Um, we did play that game Thursday night in Aviva, and then it's a quick turnaround. We played Finn Harps on on the Sunday. I know we made a lot of changes, and then I was straight to camp, so it wasn't much time to be to be talking about it. Like, yeah. I mean, what's it like? I mean, like you've obviously had this experience at international level. You hadn't played in Europe before. You hadn't played in Europe before the season, sure you hadn't? No. Yeah, yeah, both more. Yeah. So, like, what what's that been like, or can that benefit you now that you've got the international games, but you've also got used to playing more European games in the last month? Yeah, obviously it's different than than League of Ireland. Like, just different styles of play, and no disrespect, but quality of the opposition is a lot higher and stuff. Um, but yeah, as I, as I played last last year in the 21s campaign, I'd I like to think I got quite a good bit of experience. And oh, the Toulon tournament we played against like Brazil and China and stuff. So different styles of play. I've, I've, I'd like to think I've brought that experience with me to to my games for the Dark League. Yeah. Did when you came home from Coventry, like did, did you think all this was possible that you could be maybe one win away from a European final, playing Europa League group stages, all while still living at home? No, not at all. Like it's it's just unbelievable to think of it. Like and especially since the since the break, the the, the time we've had with the dog, you know, different managers and stuff like that and a lot changed. And so to think of it like we we we, were, we are in the group stages now is is kind of surreal. Like. Yeah. Has this year almost as well been like at, at Bowes it was always very stable. It was Keith was the manager, you were doing all right, where I'd say you've probably had more going on in this year than any other any other season of your career so far. Like, is that like more experience or just getting used or I don't know, is there a growing up with it or something? Yeah, like 
I try to focus on my football so I don't pay too much attention to what's going on around me and I just you just go in every day, put your head down, work hard and get on with it. Like just there's not much time to be stopping and thinking and you don't want to be getting caught up in it. Like you just focus on your football. Yeah. And what's it like going back in there with our, the Irish lads? Like it's it's eleven months since you would have played together. Like I'm sure you just can't switch it on and off. Like is there much effort that has to go into well keeping the momentum going that couldn't still be there? Yeah, as I said, we, we did have a, a training camp last month in Belfast. So that, that was good to, to get to get in again amongst each other and meet the new staff. Um, I didn't realise it was 11 months since the last game, but yeah, that is a very long time. And Usually in this, this international window, we'd have two games, where this time we only have one game. So that will benefit, benefit us because we've had quite a longer time to, to gel again and, and get going with um, a side of play and stuff. So. Shouldn't be your Yeah, does this trip to Italy, this must be second nature for you at the moment with all the travelling through airports and what you have to do, is it? <laughs> yeah, the last few weeks we've uh, we've had three away games like, with, with the dog, so it's, it's grand. I don't, I don't mind it. All right, good stuff. All right, thanks, Tara. Mark McCann. Cheers. Th- those 11 months, I mean, you've, you've, you're back in the training pitch now with the lads. Do, do you feel like any momentum has been lost or is it like just like you were together again yesterday? Yeah, no, I don't know. obviously there's going to be momentum loss in between that long of a time, but we've had three really good training sessions now, and I think we have three more before the game, so we should be flying. Excellent. And come here, look, you've made history with Dundalk now, and, and you've the, you're on the cusp, I suppose, of making history with the under twenty ones. I mean, just what what is it about this this team that that has us uh, at at that point? Um, what what what's so uh, how, what do you? What's this kind of secret to it? Why are you so good and so close to qualifying? With the twenty ones, yeah. Um, I say under under Stephen and, and now Jane, just the nature he, he had us playing, and the, we I think we have a really good togetherness, and even the new coaches now they were looking in from the outside last year, and they just had it themselves, like looking in from the outside, you could see. How close knit we were, we were almost like a club, um, which is unusual for an international thing. But I think that is why we are, well, one of the reasons why we are doing so well, that we're really together. Yeah. Um, just, just, I know you said you're a Leeds fan, but what's it like to work under John O'Shea? Yes. Yeah, look, a, a man of his experience, there's, there's, there's probably not too many around. He's, he's won a couple of Premier Leagues and everything else that went with him. He's had, I think over 100 cash for Ireland, so it's going to be learned from every day and, and taken on board. He's obviously played in a load of positions, but has he's played in your position quite a lot as well now. And um, is, is he someone who takes individual players to one side and just gives them little pointers? Um, well, we, we, we've only had up, like, so maybe he will over the next couple of days. Um, but it might be him coming to us, you know. But we could be going to him and, and asking him um, in that regard, so. Yeah, yeah. Can I ask you, say, why did you end up supporting Leeds? It's a, it's an odd choice, maybe for some of your. It's been bad support, so he was growing up back then, so it's jumped on it. Yeah, fair enough, fair enough. Just, I mean, not looking too far ahead now, but what do you think this team can achieve um, in terms of obviously qualifying and beyond? Yeah, look, we are fairly close to qualifying. Um, massive game there next week in Tuesday, and uh, take it one game at a time. Well, I don't see why we can't qualify and make that history, as I said, go to the 21 Championship. And Italy obviously have a great, big reputation as well, but anything to fear going into that game? No, not at all. You've seen when they came to Tala. There's, there's nothing to fear at all. You believe in yourselves. Do you feel like you got under the skin a bit in Tala that maybe surprised them? Yeah, possibly, but that was a long time ago, so a lot has changed. And, They'll have a game now on Friday night, so as I said, we'll have a better insight into that after the game, hopefully. Super. Cheers. John, do you want to finish off? Do you want anything for the daily bit? Thanks, Gary. Yeah, yeah, just just one uh, just one to finish up. Um Darryl, there's obviously you're an ambitious type of player. You've you know, you've gone to move to the champions this year, um, and I'm sure you have the same at international level. But do you see you know your own ambitions for international level, can you see that they they can be achieved in terms of the League of Ireland? I suppose Jack Bourne being the example. He's in the squad tonight, he'll be on the bench. 
Is that something you think is possible? Um, I don't say why not. Like I think you've got to you've got to be performing at a high, the highest level that you're capable of, and you've also got to be playing at that level as well. So, like I don't I don't say why not. Obviously, it will be tougher, but if 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 you're performing, well, then you give yourself every chance. All right, thank you. Sorry, Gary, can I jump back in quickly? Yeah, go ahead. Sir. Yeah, no, just, uh, just you mentioned earlier that like to be where you are now playing playing at home is just something you couldn't believe. When you were coming home, like what were your hopes or what did you think would happen? Um so towards the end of my time in, in Coventry, I I wasn't really playing and so so I just wanted to go home, start enjoying football again, yeah. um, getting game time. Um, and luckily I did. Like I've been very grateful to Bowles for giving me that opportunity and, and belief in me. To uh, to kind of get get my feet on the ground again and start enjoying my football and I did do that and I've had two really good years there and I haven't really looked back since coming home. Like, good stuff. All right, thanks a lot. Thanks. All right, this is there. Cheers. Yeah, thank you. Thank you.